The path of love is never smooth. But mine's continuous for you. You're the upper bound in the chains of my heart. You're my axiom of choice, you know it's true. But lately our relation's not so well defined. And I just can't function without you. I'll prove my proposition and I'm sure you'll find we're a finite, simple group of order two. <laughs> I'm losing my identity. I'm getting tenser every day. And without loss of generality, I will assume that you feel the same way. Since every time I see you, you just close my doubt. The faithful image that I map into. But when we're one to one, you'll see what I'm about. Cause we're a finite, simple group of order two. Our equivalence was stable. A principle of bundle sitting deep inside. But then you drove a wedge between our two forms. Now everything is so complex it My heart was open, but too dense. Our system was already directed to have a finite limit in some sense. I'm living in the kernel of a rank one map. From my domain, its image looks so blue. Cause all I see are zeros, it's a cruel trap. But we're a finite, simple group of order two. I'm not the smoothest operator in my class, but we're a mirror pair, me and you and me. So let's apply forgetful functors to the past and be a finite simple group. Be a finite simple group. Let's be a finite simple group of order two. Why not three? <laughs> I've proved my proposition now, as you can see. So let's both be associative and free. And by corollary, this shows you and I to be purely inseparable. QED. <laughs> <laughs>